This is 7 News. Tonight, the hunt for a killer after the body of a naked woman is found on a virgin Maddington. Struggling to say goodbye, funerals begin for the victims of America's school massacre. I can't imagine what these parents are going through, what the families are going through. Why Perth families have been ordered to get rid of this children's playground. And see how Australia won the first test. Oh, he's got it. Yes, he has. And Australia will get the victory. From the studios of Seven Perth, Rick Arden and Susanna Carr. Good evening. Perth police are hunting for a killer after the body of a woman was found in a Perth industrial estate. The body was discovered in the southern suburb of Maddington. It was naked, dumped on a verge in a cul-de-sac. Grant Taylor is at the crime scene in Valencia Way. Grant, what more can you tell us? Well, so it's been 12 hours now since the woman's body was found, but uh, police still don't have a suspect in custody. As you said, she was naked, but we're not sure yet if this was a sexually motivated attack. What I can tell you is that her death was extremely violent. A rubbish truck driver found the woman just before 6.30 this morning. She'd been dumped at the end of a cul-de-sac, her body completely naked, and it appeared that she'd suffered major head injuries consistent with being beaten with some sort of heavy weapon. I checked her pulse and there was no pulse, and so, yeah, just called the emergency and, yeah, asked for help. It's not clear how long the woman's body had been on Valencia Way before it was discovered. Detectives believe they know who the woman is, but they haven't released her name. They also won't say if they've identified any suspects. But whoever dumped her here overnight appears to have done it in a hurry. There was no attempt to cover her body, and where she was laying was just metres from several large skip bins. If this was just a disposal site, the real work now for police is finding out where the murder actually took place. Identifying that primary crime scene is now their top priority. Tonight, the killer is still on the run. The incident is being investigated as a homicide. We're asking what anyone with any information to call Crime Stoppers. Police have been checking security cameras on neighbouring businesses to see what clues they hold, if any. The industrial area is deserted at night. Workers didn't start arriving until about five o'clock this morning. Yeah, I was pulling up. I pulled up into the cul-de-sac to reverse into our driveway and that's when I, that's when I found her, yeah. Not something you want to see, that's for sure. Grant Taylor, 7 News. And that's the news right up to the moment here on 7. We'll have updates throughout the evening. Tina Altieri is here now with Today Tonight.